Today we're going to talk about the good times, the terrible times, but why the Dream SMP means so much to me. My name is Tommy and this is a tribute to Dream SMP. I've always loved Minecraft SMPs. I've tried to enjoy single player so many times, but I just get bored. Even six years ago, when I was 12, back on my Xbox 360, I'd never play Minecraft by myself. My friends would be on my world where I'd make them go through hell. Because in my eyes, that's what Minecraft is about. That simple conflict that comes with having more diamonds than your friend. The rules you can break if someone's pissed you off. Look, I've never been a good builder or very creative. Every house I make is the exact same. But knowing that I can work with other people on the server to make the experience better, that's what I love about Minecraft. It's social. It's a real place. So when I found Hypixel, that changed everything. Hypixel was more than an SMP. It was a mega server. It had hierarchy, ranks, lobbies you could make friends in, competitive games you could make enemies in. This server was my foray into the Minecraft community. I discovered the big dogs, the people I wanted to be like someday, and that glorious crimson rank I could only dream of having. You needed 30,000 subscribers to get YouTube rank on Hypixel. And from then on, that was my only goal in life. I played on Hypixel for years and I loved every second of it. Grinding, streaming, meeting new people, getting closer and closer to one day being one of the big dogs. This was the dream and slowly it was coming true. But then a few years into Hypixel, I found SMP Live. SMP Live was nothing like Hypixel. It wasn't about competitiveness or mini games. It was a vanilla stripped down Minecraft server and had an emphasis on comedy. I'd never seen anything like it. Through the server, I found my three favorite YouTubers, but none stood out more than Jay Schlatt. I would watch him for hours on end. The timing of his jokes, the bombastic personality, just how effortlessly funny he was. I wanted to be just like him. I wanted to join SMP Live so bad that I made a video three years ago ab about it. Don't, don't, don't watch it. It's not good. Almost a year after I made that video, I got invited to SMP Earth. SMP Earth was Wilbur Soot, one of my other favorite YouTubers, newest project. As SMP Live was coming to a close, Wilbur wanted another space for creators to come together and this was it. A huge map replicating Earth with modded planes, a live updating map, and Technoblade? I had to get in. This was my chance. <laughs> and I did. I barely made it into that server, joining five minutes before the invites closed because I begged my friend who was in it. But that server made all the difference to my life. Now, every day I was streaming SMP Earth the second I got home from school. I really should have been studying for my exams, but streaming YouTube came first. I was definitely being irresponsible. But through the server, I learned so much about YouTube, met so many cool people. It was great. But just as abruptly as it started, SMP Earth came to an end. And looking back, SMP Earth didn't have the same spark SMP Live did. People had done servers before, and the existence of them was getting tiring. They all started to feel the same. The problem wasn't the people or Minecraft. It was just the timing. The age of SMPs was coming to a close, and I'd missed the boat. Even though I discovered so much about YouTube and, and streaming, I'd never be among the big dogs. The clock had ran out. I couldn't help thinking every day while I was at school, what if I'd have worked a little bit harder or been less cringy or born a few years earlier? Would I have been an SMP live? Would I have been one of the big YouTubers? Knowing I might not ever be able to be one of the big dogs, well, I guess it got me down. But as the pandemic begun and all my exams were canceled, I knew I had one last chance to really make this work. Yes, the age of SMPs was over, but maybe, I could still find something, anything. And then I met Dream. <laughs> now we didn't really click at first. He actually uh, ignored my first message. Dream was a new YouTuber in the Minecraft space. He'd figured out that people resonate most with the super simple, basic content. You didn't need a high budget. You didn't need lots of editing. You just needed some friends and a cool idea. He started making Minecraft manhunt videos. The premise being some friends chase him around a Minecraft world while he pulls off insane plays. Even though it was easy to follow, it felt super grand. Like you were watching a movie, but also just some friends dicking around. Although it was exciting, it didn't give Dream a lot of space to be himself. So much of the videos were focused on the Minecraft that it's personality didn't shine through. So to combat this, on April 24th, 2020, Dream started streaming on a new Minecraft world with two of his friends. 
Now, this server wasn't anything special. <laughs> in fact, it was boring. Dream's reluctance to add any mods to keep the server vanilla made for very slow, talkative streams. Even though Dream and his pals were having fun, the server definitely didn't stand out. But then, a big change happened. <laughs> I asked to join. Dream, without hesitation, said no. I'd be too chaotic, I'd ruin the relaxed vibe, and quite frankly, I didn't know anyone on there well enough. But after mulling it over for a few 